friends uh, welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how we can add a line render and add a force on a ball with mouse drag and uh, implement material on line render so first i will show you how it look like now you see that uh, I am using a ball uh, with line render and some specific material and when I leave my mouse it will add a force on ball and move forward and in any direction this way so uh, this is the scene now I will show you how I create this simply I have create a scale sprite and add a box collider 2d on it to create a closed surface and the second is the ball that is a simple ball that i have created now uh, i have add a ball shoot script on it with launch power 500 and a rigid body 2d uh, and give the gravity scale to 0 and next is the box collider 2d and I have implement some 2d material simply create 2d material and give the bounciness of 0.5 to it and implement it on the material section of box collider the last thing that I have attached on my ball is the simple line render and I have set its vertices to uh, points to 2 and give the initial position minus 5.0 so and you can change it and the second is the second position is minus 3.2 this way you can increase it and decrease it according to your initial position and set the uh, width of uh, line 1.0 and the third is the uh, texture mode that I have uh, click on the by default it's stretch and I have uh, click on tile to convert it in real texture mode and I have created a simple material of line of arrow this is the material i will show you how i create this material simply create material and click on elbow and select the sprite that you want to create a material simply i am using the arrow this is the arrow and after that uh, convert it to cut out and go to the uh, unlit and convert it to transparent and now this is the material that we have created simply that is the material and simply drag and drop this material to our uh, line render that's way this way so this is the uh, simple line render component that I have created and implement all our ball now let's go to the script of our ball that i have attached on it simply uh, i am use the start position uh, vector 3 start position and the private float uh, serialization field private float uh, launch power is equal to 500 i am use the function on mouse down simply get the component of line render is equal to true so uh, when we click on our bar uh, our line render will show <coughs> the second function is the on mouse drag when we click and leave uh, and drag our mouse this function will call and i have simply create a vector 3 new position is equal to camera dot main dot screen to word point input dot mouse position to get the initial position of our mouse and save it in new position variable 
then I am create the uh, symbol position uh, axis on x and y direction. Simply transform dot position is equal to new vector three, a new position dot x and new position dot y and z component is set to zero on drag function. On uh, mouse up when we leave the mouse, simply uh, I have created vector two direction to end position. When we leave mouse, our line uh, ball will uh, move forward. Simply uh, start position minus transform dot position to get the direction to end position. Simply uh, minus the get the start position and minus the uh, transform position where we leave our mouse. And then get component rigid body 2D and add force uh, direction to end position multiply with launch power. This is the direction to end position and multiply it to the launch power that is 500 we have created on start and simply uh, get the rigid body 2d dot gravity scale is equal to 0 uh, sorry is equal to 1 so our ball can uh, affect with gravity scale and uh, when we leave uh, uh, our ball a mouse the ball is move around and uh, drop down with the gravity scale by 1 and on update simply get the line render dot unable is equal to false so when we leave our mouse our uh, line render will disappear in that update method uh, simply i am get the line rendered component to draw the uh, line between two points uh, by simply get component line render dot set position zero and transform dot position and the second line is uh, get component line render dot set position one and start position i have created these two line to uh, show the line render between two points for initial point and uh, the starting point now this is the script simply uh, save the script i have already and attach the script to our ball and give the launch power as you want i have set to 500 now i will show you Now you see that uh, when I uh, move my ball, the line is also move with ball and increase its strength. Now this is the way. The last thing that is uh, I have created simply the white arrow. Use will set to by default is types simply go to the bash type and convert it to the full wrap and uh, wrap mode is repeat by default it's clamp you sh should tick on repeat and click on apply because i have already applied these uh, on our, our texture so it's perfect this way uh, you can create a simple drag ball game and add a line render component on it and implement any type of material on your line if you have any question you can leave a comment if you i will give you the answer if you like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video